Hello everyone, it's Lou from Luimagine and today I want to show you a tool that I use every time to color grade my photos and to choose what color harmony I am going to use to edit my photos and to color grade them. This is a website that you can access for free, this is called Adobe Color and today I'm going to show you how to use it and hopefully it helps you to color grade your images. Okay, so I'm going to save a copy of uh, this image Krakow, uh, yeah, save, okay. So as you can see, uh, I've just been doing a skin replacement uh, cleaning that we have been doing together in the previous uh, tutorials and some light uh, adjustments. And now I wanna work on uh, the color grading. So I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Color so this is a software that I use every time to choose uh, my color harmonies and to know what are my colors exactly because sometimes the perception is different than uh, the actual color. So it will uh, it actually helps you to understand colors. Now I'm going to show you how to use it. So you open um, out of color, so you have the address here and you go to extract themes. Okay. So select a file. So it will automatically add uh, some um, points, sample some colors. So here you can see we already have kind of a color harmony, but uh, okay, let's choose the color that we want. So I have a dominant blue here. I wanna know what is the color on the ground. Of course, I want the color of the church, maybe the color of the wall of this building here. And, and, and maybe the color of my orange here. Okay, now I am going to make a screenshot of that. Okay, so I can remember what are uh, the colors and which one, because sometimes some are very similar like those ones. So we know uh, which one is what. Then we click on color wheel. And you can see that uh, the colors that were on extract theme are now uh, here and on the wheel. So we can see uh, we already have a kind of a orange, kind of a blue. So now we're gonna go on HSB, which is use saturation brightness. Okay. And then we gonna put 100% saturation and brightness. So we can focus uh, on the hue only. So here we can see we have three hues that are quite similar and two uh, here as well. We could uh, decide to have just a complementary uh, color scheme. So that would mean all, all of our um, blues would be uh, together and an opposite color which would be on kind of orange so this is the colors that we had at the beginning so which means this orange here are the colors of the light on the wall um, then we have the sky here the sky is this one so this is this orange here that i don't like too much um, this kind of blue violet like blue purple this is this one and this is the wall. So yeah, maybe we decide if we want to bring it to more blue or bring it to orange. We can decide later. Then of course the church is already kind of almost red. So here, okay, so now that we know what are our colors, we can decide. Do we want a complementary or a split commenter, um, complementary, double split complementary? I usually do a split complementary. So what is a split complementary? It's one color, one hue, and then uh, it will divide it to two uh, opposite color. So here that would look like that. I think we're gonna go with a complementary. Which means that this violet will bring it more towards the blue. And we want the orange to be uh, more towards the yellow because uh, for now there was more towards the reds. Like that. 
otherwise I could choose to keep this uh, kind of orange red and bring the orange towards the green and this is a split complementary so yeah that's up to me uh, we can either do orange for the church and the lights or a red orange as we have now and take the lights towards yellow green well that could be a nice idea actually so what uh, we learned here we learned that the wall that is here we need to bring more blues in it because so far there is uh, more red so it looks like purples like dark purple so we want it to be more blue or we can uh, decide to uh, bring it more red even more red so there will be orange red so we need to decide that we learned that the lights we need to add uh, more yellows in it and a little bit of green so this is less orange like here we learned that the church if we use a split complementary we can uh, keep it as it is and uh, then for our ground and the sky we can also keep it as it is but we can maybe make it a bit stronger for the color so that's uh, what adobe color is for it allows you to analyze your image and decide what color harmony you're gonna work with. So then back in Photoshop, you can uh, choose the different adjustments, uh, layers that uh, are available in Photoshop. And uh, with the mask, you can color grade each part. So for example, the wall here, the ground, um, the sky or the church, or just um, the lights. Um, that is up to you and uh, in a next video I will explain you how to use my favorite the one I use the most my favorite um, adjustment layer I hope you'll be able to implement and to use other colors from now on let me know in the comments if you have some question this is really a tool that is interesting to use uh, to understand what is happening in your image it will show you if there is already some harmonies uh, some harmonies in your image and show you uh, what you can do to change the color harmony uh, to change the color of a specific part for example I couldn't tell that this uh, part here is purple if I didn't use Adobe color like I really couldn't tell and now I will be able to manipulate it to know uh, if I want to add more blue or more red uh, depending on what color harmony I'm going to use so it's very interesting to, to use, to have some information, to know how to manipulate the right way your images. So I see you in the next video to explain you how to use the adjustment layers for color grading. If you liked this video, please push the like button, it's helping a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to don't miss any video.